It was the proper church funeral Nat Nikasa never got to have, complete with flowers, family, and devoted fans of his work. They did not come to mourn, but to celebrate a life well lived, and to give thanks that Nat's dream of a rainbow nation in South Africa, the topic he wrote so fervently about during his life, had come true after his death. The Reverend spoke of the strides Nakasa made before his untimely death, when he moved to America to study and to share the stories of apartheid-era Africa with a nation willing to listen. Sometimes longevity in years can mean nothing. People can live a short life and have an impact of a lifetime. He took his own life when the government denied him the chance to go home. But the arts and culture minister said nearly 50 years later, the country is poised to give Nikasa a hero's welcome. Our country is a country of greats, uh, of, of fighters, uh, of heroes, uh, who have been fighting for their freedom for centuries. And Ned Nakasa belongs uh, in that company too. One last song signaled the end of the service and the beginning of Nakasa's journey back to the homeland he loved. Nakasa will be buried in a hero's acre in Durban. His family says they hope the next generation of South African journalists will visit him there to learn about a man who fought injustice not with a sword, but with a pen. Patrice Howard, New York. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com.